Once you've decided that this is for you, you're going after it, and you're not going to leave without it, then there are two ways you can do it. One is you have someone else pray for you, lay hands on you, which is what in the book of Acts, as you can see, the apostles laid hands on the people and they receive the fire of the Holy Spirit. They start speaking in tongues. That's one way to do it. Another way is you can receive it yourself, just like how I received it. I was in my own room. Nobody laid hands on me. No one prayed for me. I actually took one week of really searching the scriptures, really looking in a lot of different online articles, and I start praying. I'm like seeking God. I'm like, God, I really want to receive this. And after that whole week of seeking God, I decided this is the day I'm going to do it. When I heard that the garage door was closed, gung, 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 it, was, it was down, that nobody's in the home anymore, I was able to fully just focus. I started really weeping for my own sins. I'm like, God, I'm so sorry for my sin. I started repenting, asking God for forgiveness. And, and after doing all that, I felt the forgiveness of God, the touch of God, in my life and I was feeling so good the embrace of God's love and before I could even say it I was thinking I need to at this moment say God please fill me and baptize me in the Holy Spirit before I can even say that I don't know what happened but I was like with my hands both lifted up high like this and I was yelling on the top of my lungs saying hallelujah praise God I was just praising God worshiping him I give you praise Jesus and, and just worshiping God and I know in my logical mind I was acting crazy. And if anyone who has seen me, they would have thought I lost my mind. And I was able to allow myself to keep doing that because I knew that no one was in the home. I wouldn't have been able to do that if I knew that my dad was still there. You need to get into a place where you can fully be who you are in front of God. And as I was worshiping and crying out and just praising God, about half an hour in that experience, I felt like someone was uplifting both my hands. Because lifting your hands up like this for half an hour, you're going to feel tired. But just like Moses, when he was winning that battle, his hands were held up. I felt like someone was holding up my hands as I was praising God. And half an hour in, I started to speak these syllables. For about two, three minutes, in my mind, I was thinking, man, are, are these tongues? Am I making up these syllables? When you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and you start speaking in tongues, you're going to have those thoughts. Is this me or is this God? I encourage you in those times, keep on pressing in, keep on praying it out loud because the more you pray it out loud, the more you're going to receive the tongues of the Holy Spirit in your life. Praying in tongues is not something that you make up. It's not something that you follow someone on TV or on YouTube and you try to follow them. I actually tried to do that earlier before I received the Holy Spirit and it didn't work. You can't follow someone's syllables. It has to be something that the Holy Spirit given you within and you just speak it out loud. In the book of Acts, it says that the Holy Spirit gave them utterance as they spoke. If you don't speak, you're not going to have utterance. So I just say that when if you're praying for yourself and you're at home, you need to speak it out loud. Say something and trust that the Holy Spirit is going to take your tongue and speak that supernatural language out of your mouth. It is such a powerful tool that God has given us that you don't want to miss out on. If you go to that buffet, you want to eat that lobster, you want to eat that salmon, you don't want to just get fried rice. And right now, I'm going to pray for you. If you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and be able to pray in tongues and pray in the Spirit with a supernatural power, I declare to you today that is God's will for your life is to be completely immersed in the Spirit of God so that He can flow through you more and more in your life. And so if that is you, you want to receive that, I invite you right now, just lift up your hands or put it on your heart or kneel on the ground. Whatever way that shows that you're humbling yourself before God, and I'm going to pray for you right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you sent your son Jesus Christ on earth to show us how we are to live our lives today. We thank you because of the cross of Calvary, Jesus, that you died for us. Today, we have eternal life when we repent and trust in you. But not only that, you said that it is good for us that you go away so that you can give us the Holy Spirit. And today, Holy Spirit, when we repent and trust in you, you come and infill us and you reside in us. But there is something more, which is the complete immersion in yourself, Holy Spirit, being baptized in your fire. So for those who are watching right now, in the name of Jesus right now, I pray the Holy Spirit, you will touch them now in Jesus' name. Allow them to speak in a supernatural language right now and let every doubt from the evil one be demolished in Jesus' name and let you flow and flow and flow with the fire of God now in Jesus' name. This is the time where you start to just open up your mouth and speak whatever God is flowing through you. This is not the time to speak in words. If you want to pray in tongues, you start praying in tongues. You speak those syllables and you pray out whatever God is flowing 
through you. Don't allow the enemy to steal from you what God has promised you. This is the time to pray and flow in the power of the Holy Spirit right now because he's filling you as you desire in Jesus' name. God, I pray for fire. Holy Spirit, fill them in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and start speaking. Start praying in tongues. Start lifting up your voice. Keep pressing in and keep seeking God because that is his promise for you. Open up your mouth and start speaking and praying. Thank you, Jesus. Rapa 